So a guy came forward and went, uh, guys, can you stay in your seats? We've uh, locked down the cinema for your own safety. We're going to ask you to you stay in your seat. Everyone was camp. Um, stay in your seats and we're going to decide with speaking, you know, with the management and f- what's best for your safety. And we all just sort of sat there. I don't know if that would have been the time for me to stand up and be like, thanks very much, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's drinking? <laughs> Ice blasts. Like, and Dan I, was just there trying to make a baseball bat out of minstrels. Just like, <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> mushing together candy shrimps. Um, yeah. Cost you about 25 grand for enough minstrels in the cinema to make a baseball match. <laughs> you need a mortgage. We were only in there for about 20 minutes and then they let us out through Nando's. Couldn't and in my head, I was like... on for you, couldn't he? Being like, come back next week. Well, the film was Super 8 and it was pretty shit. We, super we AIDS. Were, what? Super, super eight. eight. The film was Super AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss it? In 2011, that Super AIDS film. It was called Super 8. Super 8? Which is a type of camera. Literally a type of camera yeah but is it a fucking camera um <laughs> made of shit um yeah we were in there for about 20 minutes they let us through and and then uh i wandered home and uh i feel like this is a story that i do in my stand-up so i'm not giving you the the full version of it but yeah it was pretty stressful and on the way i got back finally and, and we were watching the the looters, because there was about that night. There was about fifteen hundred ne'er do wells roaming around Manchester. We were only locked in the cinema for like fifteen minutes after the film. And um, uh, when we got back, me and my mate, uh, flatmate Andy, we just looked out our window because we lived in Manchester City Centre, and we saw people <laughs> just coming like scallies going back to the rough bits of Manchester, like Arpere and fucking Miles Platin, and they had the things that they've nicked. Yeah, and one guy had a, and he looked pleased as punch. Had a keytar. Do you remember the the eighties? <laughs> the eighties <Yeah>. electric <laughs> guitar <laughs> guitar. Yeah. So he might have got a fucking prison sentence for a nostalgia Yamaha keytar. What are you? And looting? he literally was like, hey, 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 "Fuck you, this system." Can Here's I ask a you question. a question? What would you loot? That was one of my right. So this is going to be sort of what I want to know from both of you is actually is would you loot if you knew like you've got like a bally on balaclava or like a sh- you wear schnoods right so you <laughs> so you've got the schnood house uh, would you loot because really who are you hurting the shop's going to be insured for that the only people losing are the insurance company and fuck them i think we all agree on that I'm getting myself some shoes, mate. 1,500 people roaming around smashing shops up. The the We lived near a car park that had a uh, mother care world and a JD <laughs> spot, like a big one. Mm. And we just watched. It was amazing. It was like, you know, when you've got um, iron filings and a, and a magnet and you can move them around, <laughs> police cars would swoop in, all the scallies would go... <laughs> And then within 10 minutes, they'd all just come back because they were like, fucking, it's like a JD palace. Uh, and the Bang & Olufsen got done professionally. Like two vans turned up, smashed in like the posh, the posh stereo shop. But uh, I would you loot if you'd already seen someone done the window. So the yeah. the doorway's open. You you don't do the break in. You just do the entering. And you're gonna get away with it. Defo. Well, that's what know. they all thought. There was literally people on the BBC going, "It's fucking, it's it's menace night tonight. Everyone's getting away with it." It was like literally a thousand convictions What's but if you, oh mate yeah have you heard about the day but what would you steal is the question i'm would ya? Are you i think i'm too much of a, i'm too much of a wee bitch what what you, we're talking about trainers you're a fucking trainer head aren't you i'm not a massive trainer head. i know but, but I, to the point if you saw like like yeezys or something i'm not into but like go on, take a pair of fucking vans <laughs> i love free shit mate and i'm getting away with it fuck it i'll take yeah. whatever i want yeah yeah it'd be hard because you, Adam would just walk past the checkout and you're like, you're not going to mention it? Oh, no, I mean, just fucking- <laughs> That's an in-joke, that. I hope the casual listeners get it. I like a bit of a fucking thievery. Just a little bit of... Go on, what What would you... What You've got to sort of... It, it doesn't count if there's no risk of conviction. You cover... You get the snood on. You might get convicted, you might not. They might clock you on you've the CCTV. Right, there's got to do you loot store. conviction or not. And then there's also, if you don't get convicted, what do you loot? Yeah. The Apple Store is pointless. It's all registered. Have you not seen what happened last time? Yeah. They all got messages going, can you please return this product to the Apple Store you stole? Well, John Lewis then. Like somewhere where there's loads of what, computers. What, you going to steal it, John Lewis? Oh, I thought you meant Camera. like the homeware section. <laughs> <laughs> like a lovely You've crew set. Fucking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be well healthy in prison. Don't worry about me. I'll take whatever I could. Like, you, it's supermarket sweep, innit? You've just got to fucking go as fast as you can. 
I'd fucking love to do Supermarket Sweep, by the way. I used to watch Supermarket Sweep thinking, what are you fucking idiots doing? Why are you wasting yourself on the fucking turmeric and shit? They're putting fucking spices in. They're fucking 50p. Get to the big aisle. Box yourself off. What would you go for? Just microwave, microwave, microwave. Yeah, stuff that you can resell. You don't need to keep it. Do well, you? that's looting, isn't it? You've got yeah. to, you've got to go expensive but carryable. And they used to let people do it at ten a.m. on ITV One <laughs> <laughs> with our fucking Dale. Is he dead? Yeah. Yeah. Best what would you team. steal? Uh, I think a camera is a good one because it's not like yes. connected to anything, so you yeah, wouldn't get so that. That's off grid. Yeah, off grid. Off grid. You got to go cold protocol. Camera, a telly. They're not off-grid no more, though. They're on Wi-Fi, aren't they? No, guys. Come on. Looting. You've got to get it back. (laughs) I've got a Through Manchester City. Yeah. You're not taking your car to loot. Why? You're not parking up and having a loot and then driving off. Registration. There was no cars could get in the city centre. I steal a big leg. It was all blocked off. Also... Make like, fucking sandwiches for the looters. No, you can still take <laughs> like Jesus. Do you know the ones they hang up in big European shops and sometimes in little? Yeah. Like you can still take a tally. Meats. I fucking love it. Because you're just walking in through Manchester, the police will be like, what the fuck are you doing? Be like, I bought it. Prove it. They don't have to. It's called a receipt. Prove yeah. I didn't. That's, that's exactly how that works. Receipt, Prove I didn't shit, yeah. take it. I'd take SD cards because you can get fucking loads. And as we know now, they're expensive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd take about That's a fucking right. thousand. Yeah, but you can fill your pockets with them and still take the telly. I just want a big fuck. I want like a 10 grand telly. This is like a purge question because have you heard the story about when Ireland fucked up the legislation on drugs? Here and he goes. Accidentally made everything legal for a day? Just one day? In the Republic? Well, and it, and it, for a day? And it all stood. Drugs, yeah. And people walked up to police officers just putting pills in their mouth and doing coke and all and just like. And they couldn't do anything? Because it was legal? Because they like forgot to start the new legislation. They got the dates wrong. Oh my God! Was it New Year's Day or New? Was it? Was it? No, just it was random? just in the random. I feel like it was a bigger fuck up to let that information out, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> than to actually fuck it up in the first place. The fact that they've gone. By the way, guys, just so you know, well, we need to get ahead of this. We've accidentally made drugs legal yeah. for the day. Just keep that fucking amongst <laughs> you and your secretary. Do you know what I mean, Lisa? Tell no one. Yeah, it's not like stoners are like, oh my God, there's this new legislation. But it was just the excitement of people like going right up to a police officer and just chucking pills in your mouth and being like, ah, that's fuck all you can do. My God. <laughs> what you could th- do that anyway, really, though, and be like, prove it wasn't a minstrel. That's it was just a parasite. Like, this him. is my TV. <laughs> that's not drugs. It's a Tic Tac. I own this. Fuck the receipt. Bye-bye. But you could be walking through Liverpool City Centre now with a telly. The police aren't going to be coming up to you going, prove that's your telly. I don't think you understand what Manchester was like that night. It wasn't just like evening shoppers, few people at Café Rouge. <laughs> it was fucking bedlam. Was it? Yeah. It was the same in Liverpool. What? We got we got rioters too at the same time in Liverpool. Yeah. Wasn't Classic like, la- classic Manchester Liverpool. Like, what the yeah. fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah, someone tried to do the apple shop. Um, yeah. I'd I'm definitely lose this, the answer, though. I'm yeah. definitely giving it... If I everyone else is doing it, I'd get bad FOMO, me. Fear of missing out. <clears throat> I'm not watching someone walk around with brand new shit and walk around like, I just better get myself home. I've just seen Big Mama's house too. No. <laughs> Gimp. <laughs> <laughs> is that because you didn't know the film that I'd watched, you decided you'd make it a film you knew? <laughs> yeah, I don't know that film. Must have been Big Mama's house too. <laughs> Gimp. <laughs> I can live, I can live, I can live. Oh. <laughs>